Hey, it's Ivan here. In this tech tutorial, I'm gonna explain to you how to make sure you're not over the limits with your system IO account in order to make sure you don't get charged for a higher plan or the accounts get restricted or something like that. So I'm gonna share my screen and show you how that all works. So when you get closer to your limits or above your limits, you're gonna get an email potentially if it looks like this. Now I'm recording this video at the time where system made some changes to their limits where inactive funnels funnels that you have deactivated but didn't delete are counting towards your limit, which is why this email is a little bit more like action required, stuff like that. So you might get an email similar to this that might say basically you need to, you know, upgrade or do something basically. So this is what will happen um, once you have exceeded it. And I'm gonna show you how to uh, fix that. So now I'm in my system IO account and bear in mind, this is a test account. This is not my actual account. And you could see this is a free plan and you could see that it will say the word upgrade and it will say that when you are on the free plan. Now, in order to see what the limits are, you will be able to go to funnels and you'll see there's a bunch of funnels here. If you go to contacts, you'll see there's contacts there, things along these lines. Now I don't have any contacts because it's a test account, but in order to see all the potential limitations that I'm currently going through or, or having exceeded my account, you have to go to settings. Under settings, you go to my plan right here. When you look at my plan, you will be able to see this plan and you will see in red where you've exceeded your limits. So you can see that I've not actually exceeded the limits on many things, only the funnels. So in order to do that, I need to go to funnels. When I'm here, you're going to see that I've got three funnels. So if it says three funnels, why does it say six? What you want to do is you want to click right here on the drop down, click on inactive, and then click on filter. Now you will see that I've got three additional funnels which status is inactive. So in that case, I'm go going to delete what is here in order to get rid of it. Now, before you delete your inactive funnels, you might want to check what's there to make sure that you really do want to delete it. I'll show you an example. Like if you look here under edit page and you could see what is this squeeze page, then I might want to save something out of it. Now I can't save the full page, but you can save specific sections. So I'll show you what, what I mean by that. In this case, obviously I don't really care about any of the stuff, but I'm just showing you for demonstration purposes. Let's just say I'm like, oh, I really, really want to save this part, this section, so I can use this for my next landing page. Okay, so you would hover over section, you would click on it, and then you will hover over on the left right here, and you see this floppy icon, you're going to click on it, and then you're going to label this opt-in section. Then I'm going to click on create. Now, whenever I save green, i.e. a section, I like to label it section. So when I do a search, I can always see the sections that I've saved. I'll show you that in a second. Let's just say for a second, then I'm like, oh, I really want to save this FAQ. So again, I'm going to click into it. I'm going to click right here on this floppy bot icon, and I'm going to call this template FAQ. And again, this is really important for you to make sure you label it as FAQ as well. And then you can also put the word element because these are called elements, okay? Because in the library later, when you're searching for it, it'll be easier that way. Now, let's just say I actually want to save this row. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here. And I'm going to click on the floppy icon and I'm going to label this FAQ countdown voice and survey or survey. And then I'm going to call this row. And this is, would have been smarter if I actually said three rows, but, or, or row three or something like that. Okay. Now, here's the thing. I'm not going to save changes. I'm going to refresh. And then you're going to see the items under blocks. So when you click to blocks, you will see here my blocks. And you will see what I just saved. FAQ count on voice uh, row, FAQ element, this section, and so on. This is really important because now if I'm searching, now let's just say in my case, I've got hundreds, maybe thousands of things saved now. Okay. So if I'm looking for all the different FAQ elements that I've saved over time, I can just go here and search FAQ and only the FAQ ones will be saved. If I'm searching for specific sections, I could do section and search for that. 
if I'm looking for all the opt-ins, I will type in opt-in and I will see all the opt-ins that I've saved, okay? So this is really important that you save things correctly. Now I'm gonna exit. Now I can actually delete this funnel and not be worried about having deleted things that actually matter to me. So I'm gonna go here to inactive, click on filter again. And now I can be confident that I can delete this like so, confirm, and that's done. Let's look at beginner's guide. I've got an order form. Let's look at the edit page. Okay, so that's that. I already, I don't know, I can save anything here, so it doesn't matter. But once I've evaluated if I want it or not want it, I can go back here, go back to funnels. Again, make sure you look at the inactive, and then I can click here and delete. One last thing that I want to show you as well is when you look at the items on the page, you will notice this says info page, that's fine. Uh, but sometimes you're going to have something like this. Um, Let's just pick link in bio. And then you will see that it will say this thing right here. When you see this icon, you already know there's no point going in there because you haven't set up anything on it. It's only when it doesn't have this icon that you might want to check in case you want to save anything. Okay, so this will save you a little bit of time in going through these individual pages. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm going to just delete the last inactive one. Filter, delete, like so. And now I'm going to go back to settings. And there you go. Okay, so now it will say five, but soon it will be deleted as well. We will bring it back to three. It just takes time to update. Here you go. Now it's updated. Don't freak out. You just have to refresh and then it shows correctly. Okay, now you might have other things that you might have to look at. So you just have to go through each of these and check it out. Uh, if you have tags uh, that you need to look at, you go here and click on tags. If you need to look at email campaigns, you hover over here and you look at campaigns. If you need to look at coupon codes, you will go uh, here and coupons like here. If you want to look at custom domains, then you will look at custom domains right here on the left. Workflows, you will see under here and workflows. If you look at automation rules, you might you will see it under rules right here. And also it might be possible that it might be inside your funnels, but typically you should be able to see all of them under rules. Uh, courses, if you hover over here, you will see it under products and you look at courses and that's that. Hopefully that's helpful to you. Let me know if you have additional questions on this change or anything else to do with system IO. Somewhere around here, you'll see a playlist of all my system IO tutorials and there's a lot more coming as well. If you have any additional questions for me, leave a comment below with your questions and I'm looking forward to answering those either in the comment section or in a video. Thanks a lot. If you got value from this, please leave the word value and do subscribe to this channel. Thanks and I'll speak to you soon.